What's up everybody? I'm Mike from the Lost Co and today I'm in Whistler. I'm riding Whistler Bike Park. Uh, first day in the bike park of the season of year 2019 for me. So I'm already super excited. It's super bright and sunny and hot. So pretty perfect conditions. It just rained a couple days ago so the dirt is going to be super tacky. And not only is it going to be a good day in the park for conditions, but also I'm on this brand spanking new Kona Process 153CR29. Lots of numbers, lots of letters. Basically, it's the Kona Process CR stands for carbon. 153 means it's got 153 millimeters of travel in the rear, and the 29 means it's got the big 29 inch wagon wheels. So, I'm super stoked on this bike. I've been riding it now for a couple weeks, just doing some trail rides and whatnot. So, today I'm gonna test out this bike to the max, ride it in the bike park, see how it takes the big jumps, really gnarly, chundery, steep, rocky stuff that we don't necessarily have in Bellingham, so I'm pretty excited to see how it goes. I've just put uh, suspension on this thing. This is actually a demo bike, so this isn't even my personal bike. This is the bike that you can come to the shop and ride if you want to see how these things handle terrain. We just put a Fox 36 on this guy, Factory Kashima. I've got it set up with 170 millimeters of travel. These generally come with 160, so it's set up a little bit more burly for the style of riding that we're doing. In the back, we took off the stock shock that it came with, and we put a Fox Float X2 Factory Kashima in the back. I've got the settings pretty dialed for my local terrain, and today is really gonna be about dialing it in for riding the bigger stuff in the Whistler Bike Park. So probably gonna have to turn the rebound down just a little bit. So I figured I would take you guys for a lap with me in the bike park and let you know how much fun this thing is. The main thing that I like about this bike is it's a lot more fun than my last bike. My last bike handled chunky, downhill style stuff pretty good, but it wasn't the most uh, playful or energetic active feeling suspension. So um, I really like jumping around. I like doing stupid stuff on the trail. So I'm pretty excited to see how this thing does not only on little jumps, which I've been riding, but also on bigger stuff. So I'm just gonna strap my lid on, fanny pack up, carry an extra tube just in case. I'm gonna strap the GoPro on. I got everything ready. And go see how this thing does. Let's ride. Gonna jump it. Rope up. Whew. Breaking Buff City. Out of the chair. Try to look cool. Slash a corner. Right, right into the main line. Whoo! 29 inch wheels are fast. I've never owned a 29er. So this thing is insane. Phew! Whoo! Whoa, hooked it flat. Oh my God. Oh, this bike is so much faster than my old bike. Even though it's got 29 inch wheel, super short chain stays. Oh, it's so fast I can jump these rollers. I've never done that before until today. Holy sh Whoa! <laughs> oh, that was hooked to flat. Holy crap. Uh oh, got some homies. Whew. Anyway, this bike is super short chain chase, 29 inch wheel. It's fast. And I can flick it around. The reason we're selling Kona is because I randomly demoed one one time from them and I had a ton of fun on it. So then I approached them and hey, it's like, your bikes are really fun, can I sell them? And then we figured that all out. It's a new hip here on A-Line. I'm just gonna blast through the brake section. Woo, bumpy, bumpy, bump, bump, bump. Shoot, hooked it flat again, woo. I've never had 
so many huck to flats for four. Whew, lean it over. And that jump, I'm going inside. Whop, jumping into the berm. Oh, I'm going right, I'm going alternate line. I love this way. Not many people go this way. Whew. But you get an extra jump, two sweet berms. Still do this one. Oh, this is the most bumpy turn right there in the park right now. Good thing I got big wheels. Big wheels, big things. Woo! Gotta hit the brakes for that corner. Oh, I'll go as far right as I can. Oh, I love this jump. It's little, but you could just woo, go so sideways. Oh, this one's good too, just a little bar. Manual that. Whew. Oh, under the bridge. All right, tabletop. Oh, hit the camera, my bad. Woo! All right. Big jump time. Things like 40 or 50 feet. Woo! Out of the last section, but about to hit A line tech, throw a couple pedals in. Oh, hop out of that, hop into this corner, boop. All right, into the rocks. Oh. Oh, I love pushing this bike, seeing how fast I can go. Oh, you're never gonna go fast in that car. Okay. Oh, last part. Let's flow through this. Woo! Okay, see how far right I can go on this jump. This thing is so fun. Woo! Rah! Woo! All right, back to the village. See how this thing handles some steep, chunky rock. Drop it into Schlayer. That first gap. Oh, this one you don't want to do. This one's scary. Woo. I'll drop here. This way. Oh shoot, that's Joy Red. My bad. Here's Slayer. All right, here we go. Little rock roll thing. Oh, here we go. Chunk, chunk. Slap the corner. Whew. Let's jump this whole thing. Whoop. Right to flat. Woo. Right into the rocks. Whew. This thing's nice and smooth. Oh, especially with the big wheels. Oh, this thing gets people. We saw someone fall on this earlier. There's this little hole, wheeling really through that. You go to this chunky, chunky rock. Falling all the way down, a little wheelie drop off the end into all this rock. Oh, hope we don't get a flat tire. A little drop, woo. A little jump here. Jump there. All right, let's go up the big way. Up on top, woo. Jump the gap. Oh. Woo! Okay. A little drop here. Woo! Up on the rock. Woo! Just slid out there. Oh. Oh, pedaling section. Good thing this bike pedals really good for all those little times. The trail isn't necessarily pedally. You just want to throw in a stroke. Woo! Oh, these jumps are so good that this corner's blown out. Woo. All right, let's see. Um, 
Let's go do Canadian Open. I rode this earlier and it is rough. Oh yeah. Okay. Good thing I got big wheels here. Got to go hit this jump. That you always see under the chairlift. Woo! Oh, right into this. Oh my god. This bike is so fast. Right into the chunk. Oh, whoo, big wheels, a lot of suspension. Oh, good bike, good bike. Thank you, bike. Thank you, bike. Whoo, oh yeah. Okay, made it through that one. Oh. All right, take a break here. I noticed that the rebound was too fast for Whistler. I was bouncing around quite a bit. So I turned it down about two clicks, high and low speed rebound in the front and rear. And the bike feels way more composed. I also added about one click of compression, low speed compression on the rear shock and the front fork. And it was uh, definitely a lot more composed. So right now the bike is feeling more Whistler ready. All right, let's get back to it. This right here in the woods is gnarly. It is tight it is steep and there's like seven different lines you can take first time i took this trail today i forgot because it's my first day in the bike park right now and uh, i did all the wrong lines oh my god Whew. big wheels thank you Whew. oh okay off camper roots okay here we go into the chunk Whew. this is a trail that really tests the rider how good they are and their line choice ability right now i'm taking pretty decent lines i feel like hit this drop right to dirt Woo! all right Woo! now out of here heart of darkness pedal 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 Lay her down, screw up a dub, land a little sideways. Skirt. Whew. Excuse me, thank you. Whew. I don't know if you can hear it back there, but I almost just ripped the tire off the rim. Did I say this bike has short chain stays? I did, I did. Oh, high speed, woo! Freaking 29ers, oh my god! Whew. Give this guy a break. All right. Last corner here, rip the tire off. Oh. Whew, give my hands a break. It doesn't matter how much fancy suspension you have, your hands still hurt at the Whistler Bike Park. All right. Tire coming off. Woo! Two wheel drift into the village. All right, good ride. Process is sick. Oh, just like I thought the first time I demoed it, I'm super happy that we got Kona now. Okay, that was fun. I just rode for 10 hours. I got here at 10 when the bike park opens and they close at eight. Super long day. I've been riding for 10 hours straight and uh, my hands hurt. So all in all, this bike is super fun. This is just pretty much my initial time riding this bike on the bigger stuff. And so far, it's a blast. I will have a more in-depth review later on. So if you like the videos that you're seeing, make sure to give us a thumbs up and you can subscribe to our channel right up here. In the meantime, happy trails.